Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Plays. I'm Simon. Uh, this is gonna be a bit different than our usual videos. Uh, I'm not planning on turning this channel into a optimization guide channel or anything like that. I just struggled for four days with Hogwarts Legacy and this what I found seems to have helped. So uh, I assume uh, you're here because you have a GPU that has less than 8 gigabytes or 8 or less gigabytes of VRAM, right? Uh, you can see on the top left here my afterburner, okay? It says the game is currently requesting 4 gigabytes of VRAM. The, the issue with Hogwarts Legacy right now is that as soon as you load into the game and you start walking around, this gets fully saturated, okay? Uh, it goes up to 5.5 gigabyte, which is a hard cap. My 3070 has 8 gigabyte. The 500 megabyte, I suppose, are hardware reserved, so they can be used. Then the game spills its VRAM into RAM, since that's the next fastest memory it has access to. And if you only have 16 gigabytes of RAM, that also gets filled up. And then the game uh, spills over to the page file, and things start getting very, very, very slow. Uh, so, the first thing you want to do is turn texture quality and view distance quality to medium. Uh, this tremendously reduced my RAM usage and it says 15 GB now, but uh, it's mostly because it's m almost everything is loaded in RAM instead of VRAM. Uh, in game, it's u it usually hovers around 10 GB. Still, even if it was 14, it's still better because it's no longer full. The point is to avoid having your RAM full because as soon as your RAM gets filled, because VRAM is filled, then it goes over to the page file. The page file is on your hard drive or your SSD, and it's very, very much slower than the uh, memory, okay? On uh, either the CPU memory, RAM, or uh, the GPU memory, VRAM. So first thing you need to do is uh, texture quality, view distance quality. Believe me, it doesn't make a considerable difference in uh, visual quality. In fact, I cannot even see it. Uh, and it makes quite a difference in actual usage, but that's not the fix I want to show you. This is just this is common knowledge stuff, right? Everybody can understand this. It says uh, reduces VRAM requirements. We're gonna exit the game. Oh no, this is not how you exit the game. We're gonna exit the game. I want you to go to your start menu and type percent app data percent. And you will open this folder. When that folder opens, you'll go here, one step back. It will usually open in roaming. You'll go one step back to update, to update. You'll go to into local, so here, and then you'll find Hogwarts, Hogwarts Legacy. You'll go into saved, config, Windows No Editor. Then you will find the engine.ini file. It's this file right here. For you, it might be further down or whatever. It's just one engine file, right? You're gonna copy it and paste it to your desktop or anywhere else, just as a precaution, in case anything breaks for you, you can just replace the file we changed with this file that you backed up and everything will be back to normal. This, this is 100% guaranteed, right? It cannot break your game. If our, end, if our settings break the game, you can just replace the file here and it should be fine. They won't break the game. I just wanna make sure that you understand that you cannot possibly destroy your installation by doing this. Uh, so we're gonna open this with a text editor, whichever one, Notepad is okay. We're gonna scroll all the way down and you're gonna add this. I'll put it in the description of the video. You just copy it, paste it below uh, here. It doesn't matter if you leave a space or if you uh, do this, it doesn't really matter, uh, the game will, as soon as you launch it, it will automatically format it like this. And let me know in the comments if this actually fixed your stuttering, because it did fix my stuttering. Thank you for joining me, I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.